Hey guys, it's Matt from Macrolean Method. Super, super important video today. I'm gonna to be teaching you how to track your macros. If you want fast and consistent results, you need to learn how to do this. When I think back to when I wasn't tracking macros to when I was, incomparable, night and day difference. And the same with all my clients. Amazing, amazing results when they start tracking macros. Also, it restored a really healthy relationship with food because before I didn't have that, I would eat clean for five days, maybe a week, and then I'd have a cheat day or two days, and I'd feel really terrible. Self-loathing would kick in, I'd hate myself, I'd go back to eating clean and binge again. The cycle would continue. Now, if I want certain food, I factor it into my macros, and then I'm good to go. To track macros, I use my Fitness Pal. It's a fantastic free app for your smartphone, and you can track a whole host of things. You can do water, sugar, calories, fiber, but all we care about is macros, proteins, fats, and carbs. Okay, let's get started. You're gonna need MyFitnessPal app on your smartphone, a digital food scale set to grams. And when you open up the app, you'll be on the home page, press food, and that'll take you to your diary for the day. You can see breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. And to add food, press a plus button under any of those tabs. There's a few different ways to input foods onto MyFitnessPal, but the easiest way is scanning a barcode. So let's start with that. For example, if I want this pasta, I'm gonna scan the barcode and the nutritional value will pop up here. I'm gonna weigh out how much I want, so I want 50 grams. Yeah, it's 50 grams there. And then I'm gonna adjust the serving size on the app. So I'm gonna put one gram and 50 servings. And then I'm gonna hit the tick. And now that's tracked, that's added to my daily total. Make sure you check the nutritional info on any foods when weighing to make sure it's measured cooked or uncooked because it will vary the macros greatly. Also, when scanning barcodes, some foods don't have to be weighed. They come up with a pre-assigned serving. For example, these Jaffa cakes, if I scan them now, and they're gonna come up with one serving, but I wanna have two or three of these, I would adjust it for the amount I'm gonna have. So I'm gonna have two, put that in, and then add that to my daily total. So what do I do if the food doesn't have a barcode? For example, fruit, decanted nuts, or meat in the freezer? Well, it's really, really easy. For example, with this banana, if I'm gonna have this for breakfast, I'd press add food, and then in the search bar, I type in banana, and the generic banana will pop up. All I do, I peel this, weigh this, let's say it's 100 grams, I put in 100 grams on the serving size, press the tick, add that to my daily total, just like the pasta. Oh, quick tip, always zero the food scale when adding any new ingredients or a new plate to the scale. For example, if I'm gonna take the pasta off and put this bowl on, that weighs 235 grams, I need to zero that before I add anything new. If I wanna weigh this apple, I'm gonna put that on weighs 132 grams. If I want to add anything else, I'd have to zero that again. Okay, so that's tracking food at home, but what happens if I want to eat out? Well, you definitely can eat out and track your macros. It's really simple, it's really easy. So let's first talk about the quote-unquote fast food places like McDonald's, uh, Subway, Chipotle, Nando's, Prep. You can use the search bar on MyFitnessPal, just like the banana, and find what you had. But if you can't find it there, you can also go on the website, find all their nutritional values, add up the macros you had, and then use something called Fast Add Macros to add that directly to your daily total. Okay, let me show you how I'm gonna do that. For example, if I had a meal that was 30 grams of fat, 100 grams of carbs, and 25 grams of protein, all I'd do, and I had that for lunch, I'd go into the search bar, I'd type in fat, fat comes up one gram, I'd adjust that, so one serving size and number of servings, 30, add that straight away in. 100 grams of carbs, same thing, type in carbohydrates, into the search bar, carbs come up, and I had 100 grams and input that. And then the same for protein, back to the search bar, type in protein, and then add in 25 grams and add that. And that's the macros for the meal, quickly added directly into my fitness pal. Okay, so that's eating out at restaurants that provide the nutritional value, but what happens if you wanna eat out at an independent cafe or restaurant? Well, you can do this too, but you have to be smart with what you order. Try to order foods that come separately, like steak, potatoes, and fish, and then you can eyeball your macros and work out what's in each individual component. We're not gonna be perfect, we're not looking for perfection, we're looking for consistency and trying to be as close as possible every time. Now, when eyeballing your macros, you can use your hand as a guide to sizes. For example, the palm of my hand is around 100 grams of meat, and the fist size is about 200 grams of potatoes or 200 grams of rice. For example, if I order a meal that comprises of 150 grams of cooked chicken breast, 200 grams of mashed potato and leafy green vegetables, how do I log that? Well, it's pretty easy. First, I'd search for cooked chicken breast, add 150 grams. Then I'd search for mashed potato, I'd add 200 grams. After I'd log that, I'd quick add 10 grams of fat just to cover my bases via the quick add macros because I don't know how they've been cooked. 
in regards to the green vegetables, I wouldn't log those. They're really low in calories, really high in micronutrients. But what you have to watch out for is oils, dressings, and sauces. Always ask for them on the side because they're really high in calories. And if you can avoid it, don't eat them at all. So lastly, I'm gonna show you how to check your macronutrient numbers on the app. What you're gonna do is press the food button at the top. Three bars will appear, calories, nutrients, and macros. We don't care about the first two. All we're concerned about is macros. And as you can see, you have carbohydrates, fats, and proteins all displayed in grams. So there you have it, guys. Really simple. Now you're armed with all the info you need to start tracking those macs. Let's get after it.